Hi and welcome, it's Jill Hutchison with your Tuesday message. I've got a really good diagram for you today which explains a whole lot of things. Do you know that feeling when you've set a new goal, something that's way out of your comfort zone, and it seems like a good idea during the day, but at two o'clock in the morning you're thinking, am I nuts? This is crazy, I'm never gonna achieve this. That's when you're right up against the terror barrier. Because what happens is, in your conscious mind, you have X type thoughts. These are, this is, when I say X type, this is your current thoughts, your current examples, your current lifestyle, your current results. Everything that you're getting right now in your, in your life is X type results for you. So we have X type thoughts. We have X type conditioning in our subconscious mind. We have an X type vibration in our body. We then have X type actions which lead to X type results. So it's the actions that lead to the results, but it comes from having an X type vibration in our body. Now what happens if you want to really step up and achieve something new, then you need to have a different thought. So somebody comes along and plants a new idea in your mind. So for me, we'd moved to Australia from South Africa. That was going from X to Y, that was stepping up. Um, and I did remember thinking during the bold out of day, yes, we can do it, this is a great idea. And at two o'clock in the morning, we'd be thinking, are we nuts? This is crazy. What are we doing? We're leaving family behind. We're leaving everything behind. Uh, it happened again when I decided to invest in American property. There we were not having any American property and then deciding that we actually wanted to buy some property in a country that we weren't already living in. So it was a completely new why idea. Uh, so during the bold out of day, great idea, this sounds like a good idea, yes, this can work. At night, two o'clock in the morning, it's, am I nuts? This is crazy, this is silly, why am I doing this? And then back to, oh yes, I think this could work. You know, what do we need to look into? What do we need to do? And then this little voice that says, no, you're nuts, this is crazy. So it feels, you feel a bit schizophrenic actually. You feel like you don't really know what you're talking about because one minute you're confident, next minute you're actually a bundle of nerves thinking this is crazy. Uh, you perfectly know what that's happened to you. You're right up against the terror barrier. So how do you know when you're in the terror barrier? What I've just described, but when you're facing fear, doubt, and confusion, that's when you're right up against the terror barrier. This could be if you're moving countries, it could be if you're doing a new investment, it could be if you're going from a, one position to another position at work, it could be if you've been working and now you're starting your own business, it could be if you've had your own business and now you decide that you're gonna use something new like video. Uh, video creates a big terror barrier for people. <laughs> I have seen so many people, uh, I was speaking to somebody last week, she said, I've had the equipment for six months and I still haven't done a video. Because we face that terror barrier, it's a new idea, it's a new concept, it gets us out of our comfort zone. Now what some people do is they will just go back and they will sit in their comfort zone. Uh, it's not really that comfortable back there because you've now grown. Once you've started with a new idea, your mind never ex never returns to its original space or its original size. So don't think it's going to be more comfortable going back there. Uh, it's probably going to be just as irritating. But to break through this terror barrier, you really need to find somebody who has already broken through a number of terror barriers themselves who can actually reflect back to you that you are in fact a terror barrier and will ask the right questions to get you here. The problem is if you turn to um, those closest to you, those that you love, a lot of your friends, who are not doing what you want to do, then they are probably going to ask you questions that pull you right back here. They may be f facing that f same fear, doubt and confusion, they're more likely to pull you right back here. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but if they're not doing what you want to do, 